no scaling it. So this is my newer store that I have that I'm um, working on right now. And with this store is a I would say is a general store actually. So it's not really like a niche store, but more of a general store. And let me show you the results that I've got in the past 30 days. So as you can see today, I made 633. Thirty-six dollars in sales today. Um, let me refresh the page. Show you this is this is legit. There we go. And let me show you for the last. I'll show you um actually last month because this month is not really the end yet. So in September, we made about twelve thousand dollars in sales, and this month October, we just halfway through. Only we have two weeks left, so I made about eight thousand dollars, almost nine thousand dollars in sales from uh, what day is it today so from the first to 14th so only two weeks I generate about um, nine grand in two weeks in sales and how I got this sale is through a Facebook ad so I've been using Facebook ads and Instagram influencer so pretty much what I do let me show you my Facebook ads that how much I spend and how much I am gaining so as you can see in the last seven days I spent about five hundred dollars on ads and in return I got about 2,500 in sales and let me show you for the last 30 days um, I spent about so the last month I spent about $2,000 on ads and in return I have about $9,000 in purchases so that's that's pretty accurate with Shopify 8800 88, yeah it's pretty accurate with Shopify because sometimes <coughs> Facebook um, pixel doesn't fire sometimes so it's not that accurate but it's it gives you more information so you tells you which ads the best and which is not so I want to hey so I'll show you guys um, the method that I use for Facebook ads the scaling techniques for me to generate this income on the store that I showed you and it's actually pretty simple um, let me open up paint and I'll show you the chart I'm gonna make a chart for you guys so make sure that uh, you guys know how I did it. So for your ad, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have an audience to sell your product to. Don't just guess a product and try to sell it. It's not going to work unless you have the targeting right. Um, for our Shopify and Facebook ads, 80% of this um, business is Facebook ads or other like Instagram or Twitter. But mostly I do Facebook ads and you have to find a target. Without a target, you won't get much sales or you won't even sell your products at all. So the targeting is important key. I would use audience insight on Facebook to research your audience and make sure that you know you have the right audience for the right product. Because if you get your product in front of the right people, most likely they're gonna buy it, and that's the truth. So I just start. So the first thing you start with is I would spend five dollars a day. I would spend five dollars a day. on a PPE, a post page engagement. So you want to get likes, shares, and stuff like that so you know that people are engaging with your ad and the product is looking good and they might buy it. So for your ad placement, you want to make sure you have the image of your product and for the um, comments, say that this product is on sale and then say tag your friends and share something like that. So you need a call to action button on your, on your or any call to action on your post that will get your um, audience to engage so if they like it their friends might see it if they share it their friends might see it so every share you might get 30 100 200 more viewers that most likely want to buy it so I spent five dollars a day for about 35 days just to collect data just to see just see if you get any sales And for this, I will, I will only do mobile for this one. I'll only do, do mobile phone for this one because mostly, most of these Shopify dropshipper or Facebook ads, you know that 90% of their sales comes from face, come from a mobile. So I'll do mobile. I won't worry about desktop for now. So let me just put a box around this. Whoops. So. You first add five dollars a day PPE, three to five days, collect data. The data you want to look at is your purchases, add a cart, 
and just a checkout. So let's say in the five days you get, you know, three to seven sales or you get a positive ROI. And you know that that ad is making you money. What you want to do is duplicate this ad. Don't change the budget because you think that okay, you more sales done because it will screw up your optimization. So from, from this point on, you would duplicate it. Make the exact same ad, but the only difference this time is the budget. So we know that the five dollars a day makes you money sales. What I would do is I put twenty dollars a day for three to five days. And it's gonna be mobile too. So now you have two ads that running. Don't close this ad because it's making you money. You might as well keep it on to make more money. So there you go. So you have two ads running. The first ad PPE. If it gets you sales, you duplicate it and make it a higher budget. Exact same thing, just different budget. And let it run for a few days. Let it optimize for a few days and. If you don't get sales, I always turn it off. But if you if you do get sales, what I would do is so this one is PPE actually. So if you get sales from this, what from this twenty dollars a day? What I would do at the same time when I create this twenty dollars a day, I would uh, create a a web to conversion. So a web to conversion on your post. So I would create three things. I'll create the add a cart. I'll create the purchases and view content and same thing I'll do five dollars a day I do five dollars a day just a test to see data and see which one works the best and people always ask me hey Kevin which objective is the best at a cart purchases or view content my advice try all everyone is different and everyone has different results and it's not just based on one person assumption to think that hey purchases is the best you know it can be the best but you have to test it yourself you can't just assume things with marketing with marketing and Facebook ads you have to test you can't just assume things you know so there you go let's say uh, let me put arrows so let's say the West conversion makes you money let's say the out of cart makes you a positive ROI. You're making money from it. I would duplicate this five dollars a day to a higher value. So it would be the same add a cart. This one is a website conversion. What's the conversion? Add a cart. I will do fifty dollars a day because I know that I'm making pause ROI, so I might as well go high. Do five dollars a day for that. And let's say the purchasing view content is not that well, so I'll close these ones and I'll run the five dollars a day. Close the five dollars day, and I would whatever ads working, don't don't close it. Just keep it on because it's making you money. Don't even touch it. Just leave it. And once you make your duplicate of add a cart fifty dollars a day, and let's say this is making you a lot of sales, you can pause ROI. What I would do is I will create another ad set, but this time it's for desktop, and I would do ten dollars a day for a desktop the exact same one the exact same one the exact same objective at a cart was a conversion so let me just add a box okay. so if this desktop conversion is getting you a positive ROI return investment I would duplicate it I would duplicate it again and increase the value to fifty dollars a day with desktop out of cart and at this point your um, your mobile one for what's con conversion out of cart if that's you know if you're getting sales because sometimes your audience will run out and you will start getting less sales so maybe at this point maybe when you have around fifty to a hundred purchases I would create a thing called look like audience. So Facebook will grab your data you have and look for audience or alike who made your purchases based on this add a cart. So what I would do is I would create a new ad, but this time it's gonna be a um, look like audience. Make a look alike audience one percent. So it grabs. Um, 
may get you about a million to two million viewers for your ad and this look at audience will make Facebook find the audience that are most likely to buy your product based on your data and it's pretty accurate so you will get sales from this when you make a look at -like audience and from this this is how I use this method to make um, over five figures a month for my stores that I have so this is what I do exact system let me go over again so day one start a PPE five dollars a day target a whole bunch of groups that you research you can group them together you like target all the ages and then at this point when you start getting sales or you see pause ROI I would duplicate the exact same PPE ad to twenty dollars to three five days but this time do the age groups that are getting you the sales I didn't say that before but do when you duplicate it change the budget and change the age group do you, um, you can look at your statistics on your five dollars a day to see which age group buys your product and target those guys with the twenty dollars a day and at this point if you're getting pause ROI in sales I would duplicate this ad to a website conversion split three three of these five dollars a day for out of cart purchases and view content test these three for five days for five dollars a day and if you get sales for one of these or pause ROI for any of these I would scale these ones so I close I would pause the ad as not making me money, losing me money. Then I would duplicate the WAPS conversion ad for fifty dollars a day to the same audience size and same age group, and this should get you a lot of sales. And once your sales runs out or you went through your whole audience quickly, I will create a look like audience based on this, the people who purchase based on those guys. So Facebook will find audience who are most likely to purchase your product and this will get you it will skyrocket your business and your sales to 10 times actually and then when you make your watch conversion ad for for um, the mobile and if it's getting past ROI you're too often you can move on to look like audience or you can pretty much just make a new ad $10 a day for desktop test desktop ad test the desktop and see get sales and if you do get sales increase the budget to fifty dollars a day and this is how I do my testing for my ads it's really really not that in-depth but I have some free time right now so I want to sh show you guys what I how I did it with making an almost a six-figure hopefully by the end of the year I guess six-figure income but you know this is how I did it with my Facebook ads and also you can also buy um, Instagram influencer paying people with followers and promoting your product you know, it's the uh, exact same way, but you know, I like Facebook ads better because it's it has more audience and it's a bit more accurate with targeting. So, if you have any questions, please leave them below. I'll answer. I'll try to answer all of them. Uh, you know, just this is just a quick update on a case study that I have that one of my stores that I've done over 10k a month for my test store, and I'm gonna end this video right now. And oh yeah, let you guys know. I forgot to tell you guys. I'm making a course, a free course coming soon in um, January or early 2017th. And also, I'll be, I'll be doing mentoring coaching if you like. Just give me a message below. Let me know if you guys are interested. And hope this provided value for you guys, how to scale your ads and what I did to scale my ads. And I want to say thanks for watching and thanks for supporting me. And I want to say thank you for a thousand subscribers. That's amazing. I just... You know, I didn't think that I'd get that much subscribers. I was making videos. I want to help at least one pe person now, and and it turns out I help more than a thousand people. And I'm really, really blessed. It's the best currency to have effect on other people's lives. And I want to, you know, help people um, get this financially free, their lives, and do the things that they love and the true purpose of life they are doing. And you know, and I want to thank you guys for subscribing, and also make sure you subscribe to my channel and like my video, and also visit my blog, notajobincome.com. I also have a Facebook group. I'll leave all the links below. Um, I have a Facebook group where you can join. We'll you can ask questions. We'll help each other. We're just like-minded people trying to succeed the same goal. And my Facebook group is growing pretty big. We have about 200 members now. So if you want to join? Feel free. 